Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. And we're kicking into Memorial Day weekend. We're making a nice weekend. You love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do is a consequence, and you are going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or the other. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. My guys, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up uh, 596, Nasdaq's up 321, S&P's up 85, gold contract up $5, trading at 1857 an ounce. Uh, platinum, platinum's at 8.20, an ounce, and I'll get silver. With the, I, I'll get that silver for you. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note is down four ticks, trading 141.23. 30 year is off 17. No, 30 years off four at one. Uh, sorry, folks. 10 years flat at 120.19. 30 year is off four at 141.23 in King Dollar. King dollar right now is trading down 257 at 101.799. Euro out here at 107. Yen at 127.09. The British pound at 125. Just about hitting 126 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Bottom line, you got a nice bounce. You're up by eight and a half dollars in the SPY. You get volume of 52 million, and you have, a, you have a contraction of volume. It's going to be wild. Yesterday was 91. You're not going to do 40 million. And that's how these setups work. Uh, I suspect tomorrow you're going to go higher, too, and you're going to have another contraction. And then guess what? You wait for next week because I suspect, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday won't be bad. It, it'll hit somewhere after that. That's, that's my take on it. That's your spy because what you're doing is that you're setting, well, the spy is already in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. This is now a complex ABC structure. So it's going to get interesting when it gets up to the C point. The C point on this is 408.57. And the X100. We take a look at the three Qs. What do you have with the three Qs? Same type of setup in the three Qs. Bottom line, you're going higher. You get a contraction of volume. Nice price spread out here, no doubt. You're up 842. You're 299. You're 43 million shares. Yesterday we did uh, 67. Now, the NDX should be able to do another 20 million. So you might, you, you'll get close. It'll still be a contraction, but I suspect you'll get closer than, you know, you can get to 60. Gold. Gold contract out here. What gold has done, gold rejected. Lower price out here again. They rejected it yesterday. You do have light volume on the pullback. More than likely, gold's setting up a small ABC structure on the way up. We'll see where the C point lays out. Um, you know, the A point is uh, the 1793. The B is, uh, notice a nice one, man. It's an 80.8 A to B. So, you know, that baby's, I, we'll see whether this is going to be the B point. If this is the B point, that's going to give you 1920. And, yeah, that's interesting. 1920, where's 1920? 1917 is the next swing high. So I suspect that's where this thing wants to go. And good old King Dollar. We look at King Dollar. King Dollar basically is losing it. You know, it's still high. It's still, there's no doubt that it's still pretty high. There's no doubt about that. Um, bottom line, though, is that what you've done here, you come off the high of 105. You're at 101, 790, down 200 ticks. See, there's not much, because we went up so fast, not only just in the markets, but in King Dollar, the bottom line is that once it gives it, gives it up, it can come down just as quick. So the first time King Dollar could stall at all is at the 101 area, 101.0028 to be exact. But that's only traded there four or five days. I suspect what we're going to see is you're going to see a downdraft coming right down to the 99 area. And that area there, that's going to be hard to bust. You know, we'll be there for a while because we traded that area from... Uh, March 4th, going all the way over to uh, April 12th, April 5th. Out. So you, you traded there just about a month. And so it gets down to that level, it should hang out. That being said, I want to show you this larger picture, though. When you take a look at the larger picture, and we put this up on a monthly, what you're going to see is that 
the type of consolidation that we've been in. And we've been in this consolidation since 2015. And so there's no reason to think that, you know, we won't stay in this consolidation. It failed to the highs. You know, once you, once you get over this price point of that 103.820, bottom line gave it up. When you, give it, when you give it up, folks, particularly when you bust, you know, highs that have been out here for years, guess what? The other side is wide open. And the other side we're talking about here is we're talking about down to the 88 to 89 area. Inside the NDX, let's, say what's, let's see what's moving the NDX out here today. You got double, uh, what's that, dollar, dollar Tree, yeah. Dollar Tree is up 21%. That's, that's a hit. Uh, Baidu's up 14%. Lululemon's up 10 Pinduoduo is up 9.5%. Take it away from it. Kraft Heinz down 7.5%. That's about it, really. You got uh, Palo Alto is down 1%. Big deal. That's nothing. Inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Point-wise, what we have out here, there's only two stocks that are in the red in the Dow Industrials, folks. You got uh, Home Depot putting 60 positive points, Goldman 60, United Health 45, Boeing 38. Let's go to Home Depot right away because this is what we want. When, you, when you're checking these volumes out, folks, what you want to do, you can do the indices first, but then you want to get into the equities and some of the high equities because that's that, that way you are either going to get a confirmation that we're going higher with lighter volume and all the big dogs are doing that also, or you're gonna get divergence. And if you get divergence, then it's like, okay, man, hold it. There's stocks that are going up in volume. Guess what? <laughs> you go over to Home Depot, you're up $9 and it has no volume. 2.9 million uh, bottom lines. You had 4 million yesterday, 2.9 today. This is a disaster. Um, let me just look at IBM. So, Big Blue, same deal, unreal. And the reason I just looked at Big Blue is this. Big Blue has actually held price great during this downdraft. So when you're bisecting and dissecting markets, that's what you want to do. You, you go to the normal ones that get smoked. I just happen to know Big Blue hadn't, but guess what? Same, same deal. Yesterday you did 3.2 million, you're at 2.3, same deal. It's going higher. Volume's contracting. See ya. Don't want to be ya. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.